Hello everyone. Today I am heading over to Lake Willoughby. It's a insanely deep glacial lake in uh, Northeast Kingdom of Vermont. It has two beautiful mountains around it, Mount Pisgah and Mount Hoar. There's some of the best ice climbing in Vermont uh, at this location as well, so maybe we'll be able to get a few shots of some nice ice falls. So off we go to Lake Willoughby. I'm hoping for a good day. The light's not perfect, but at least it's overcast. And we can always do something with overcast. And uh, I'll check back in later. Alright, I've arrived at Lake Willoughby and I uh, found something interesting that I'm hopes gonna be I'm hopes I'm hoping will be a good composition. You see here Mount Pisgah on the left, Mount Hoare on the right. It's a little chilly, but relatively warm today. There's not much going on in the sky at all. And I want to do something with this, but the lack of anything interesting on the sky is, is really hurting the shot. All right, it's a first shot. Not sure there's gonna be much to it though. But sometimes that's how these days start. So I've managed to get that one done and now if you look down here we've got this great shoreline that from the waves has turned into this jagged sawtooth pattern. We're going to use that as a leading line. I don't even know if you can see me. We're going to use that as a lead, leading line and get this ice in it as well. Yeah, hopefully that should be solid. We'll see how this works. We have this nice curve across the diagonal of the, of the frame. And we'll see if we can uh, grab it. Well, I think I got what I was gonna, what I'm gonna get from this location. If you look out over here, the light gets better, the light gets worse. Uh, I feel like moving on, seeing if I can get something else. So um, let's get over to that waterfall. 
because I think that's going to be my next great shot. I found this wonderful composition on this waterfall. It's a famous waterfall here at Lake Willoughby. I'm going to use a stick stuff so I can slow down the water but still have some amount of movement. So that'll be an ND64. Um, for travel, I actually decided to buy these El Chupo ice filters. Um, after doing a little bit of research on them, and they seem to be a pretty high quality filter, though they're not coated. I do have some coated filters with, with me as well. Um, the way I've set up the composition is um, I, I've got a number of leading lines that lead up to some tree stumps that your eye is drawn to, but then your eye will work its way back down through the ice. You look at the main part of the waterfall, that's where I want the movement. You don't want too much movement, but you also don't want too much blurring. The blurring will just fade it into the background. Uh, I'm, I've got it set to 1.3 seconds, F11. Um, and we'll see what that gives us. I may go to F16 just to drag the shutter out a little bit more. Do this for a little bit more movement. I usually like to be around two seconds. Alright, right, that looks pretty good. Now I just need to wait for the sun to completely disappear and we'll pull the shot. So this waterfall is beautiful. I, I got a shot that I think is going to look pretty nice. I know it hasn't been the ideal day, but that's okay. I got out and shot, and that's the most important part. Um, the part of your brain that makes a photograph is just like a muscle. And if you don't exercise that muscle, you never get better. And in fact, you degrade, and your work gets worse and worse. So. Getting out, even on bad days, is not a terrible idea. So though it wasn't an ideal day, I walked away with some halfway decent photographs. I, I exercised that muscle that is the part of your brain that makes a photograph. And, uh, you know, practice makes perfect. I'm in a beautiful place. I got out and enjoyed this glorious day. Um, it's New Year's Eve, so I'm going to go home now and spend the, spend the evening with my wife. But. It's been totally worth it, whether we have good photographs or not, and that's the thing to always, always remember. Get out, exercise the photo muscle, make some photographs, and stop making excuses for why you can't get out. Light, weather, none of it matters. Get out and make photographs. Alright, till next time. Bye-bye. Oh wait, may I ask you to subscribe, give me the thumbs up, and let people know I'm here, share my videos, because basically sharing the videos helps other people learn, helps me get followers, and uh, lets me know that I should keep doing what I'm doing. Any input down in the comments below is appreciated as well. Um, I'll put a link around here somewhere, uh, Lake Willoughby. I don't know. I don't know where it will be. 
Thank you for joining me. Have a great day. Get out and shoot. Exercise the photo muscle. Bye-bye.